Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson, and if you watch my channel, you'll know that I've been wanting to do a little bit of a refresh on the 24 gallon Nano. The biggest problem is it just doesn't get the attention it deserves. For nutrient export right now, all I have is a protein skimmer, and I'm supposed to do water changes on it. But let's be honest, water changes for me on this tank don't happen as often as they should. It's my wife's tank and I just don't do it, it's hers. So to help with the nutrient export issue and to reduce the amount of water changes I have to do on this tank, Santa Monica has sent me an algae scrubber to try out on this tank. So let's go see what Santa Monica sent me. Due to some technical difficulties, I've already seen what's in this box. But just for you guys, let's open it again and let's see what you get in the box. So this should be the drop point six. And we got Santa Monica filtration, drop point six instructions, little dripper on there. I'll definitely be reading these to find out how all this works. The nice thing is it looks like we have the drop itself with the wire for power for your lighting and the hosing all nicely together with a nice little bracket on it. I like that when we have our power supply built in. So it looks like it's all one single unit. One thing I'd like to mention is Santa Monica sent me this to test free of charge. Now, this is actually a product that I'm really interested in. I'm testing it because I like it. But that being said, anything I say here is my own opinion. This is incredibly simple, but I think it's gonna work really well. You can see it's just two red LEDs, which should be great for algae growth. Algae doesn't want the blue lights our tank has. It actually wants this nice red light. And then we have a nice media here for the algae to go on. We have an airline running through here that's gonna supply flow and oxygen for the algae. I'm gonna be adding the drop 0.6X to the rear chamber of my 24 gallon Nana. And in there, it's gonna be powered by the Tetra Whisper 20. Now, this drop 0.6X has less surface area for algae to grow on than some of their other models. So the Tetra is gonna be more than enough air supply for this drop. If you get one of the bigger ones with, or more surface area models, you may need a bigger air pump. You'll have to figure that one out for the model you're gonna purchase. Now, for this model, it's gonna be going in, the Tetra Whisper 20 is gonna be running the air up, and over the next couple of weeks, algae is gonna start growing on the media in the back. As that algae grows, I will then be able to remove it. And that's how the drop physically removes nutrients from the tank. Installation on the drop was really easy. It fit right in the return section of my tank, took a couple seconds to bubble down. I was able to plug it in, plug in the air pump, and then hook up the air tubing to the air pump. The only thing I really wish is they would have added a little bit longer piece of air tubing. In my situation, I was able to make it work, but in the future, I might add an extension to this piece. The Santa Monica 0.6X algae scrubber is now installed on my tank. A little about the naming, the 0.6 means that it can process 0.6 of a cube of food every day. I have two fish in the tank currently, a royal grala and a damsel, and I feed way under the 0.6 of a cube every day. So I've got room to add a couple more fish to this tank without pushing the limits of what the scrubber can handle. The X means that it has the two lights, so it's definitely the way to go. Now, if you look at this tank, you'll see that there's basically no algae on any of the rocks, and it's pretty healthy, if a bit ugly, because the aquascape needs redone, we need new coral and stuff like that. So going forward, I'm going to reduce the amount of water changes I do and let my testing dictate when I do my water changes. So at 0.2 nitrates that I currently run and undetectable phosphates, this is a great starting point. This is kind of where you want to be. A tiny bit of nutrient in the water, but nothing that's ever going to be a problem. And going forward, the algae turf scrubble should be able to outcompete 
algae in the tank for the nutrients, keeping them at those really nice low levels. That in conjunction with the protein skimmer should hopefully reduce or maybe even eliminate water changes from this 24 gallon nano tank. As far as calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, your micronutrients, I'm gonna have to dose those by hand and that's gonna be more testing. But it beats carrying buckets up and down the stairs. So if you're interested in one of these Santa Monica filters, I will put a link to Santa Monica's website in the description below, along with some other information that they've provided to me on how algae scrubbers work, if you're interested in finding out more. So what do you guys think? Are you running an algae scrubber on your nano tank or your tank? If so, how's it working out? I'd love to know. Thank you for watching this episode of Mile High Reapers. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.